Hi, ninth graders. I am Ms. Dodaro, and I am one of the four counselors here at Cusno. I want to congratulate you on finishing your first year in high school, and I hope you're all keeping up with your schoolwork and studying hard to get good grades. Tenth grade is just around the corner, and we are getting ready to select your classes for next year. Today I'm going to go over the graduation requirements and take you through the process of choosing your classes on PowerSchool. Last year, you chose your classes using a scheduling card. This year, you'll be choosing your courses on the computer in PowerSchool at home and hopefully with your parents. You will have one week to do this. You are watching this video the week of March 11th on your, in your English classes. Next week, or the week after that, uh, the week of March 18th, you will be coming to the Counseling Center with your English class to meet one-on-one -on -one with your counselor. Now this is important. You must have your courses selected before meeting with your counselor the week of March 18th. If you have not chosen your courses at that time, you will be sent back to class. During the scheduling meetings, we review your choices and make sure you are chosen classes that are appropriate for you. Unfortunately, we do not have time to select your courses with you. If you have questions about which courses to take, you may sign up to see your counselor and we will do our best to see you before your class is scheduled to come down. Also, you can watch this video as many times as you need as it is posted on your Class of 2027 Schoology page. I encourage you to watch the video with your parents while you are selecting your classes. Take your time and pause the video as needed. You must have your courses selected by the week of March 18th so you will be ready to meet with your counselor to confirm your course requests. Again, if you do not complete your schedule request before your English class comes to counseling, you will not be allowed to meet with your counselor and your counselor may end up choosing your courses for you. Now, let's take a look at the graduation requirements. All right, so uh, for the class of 2027, we're gonna be scheduling for 10th grade uh, for the 2024-25 school year. And again, your course request must be completed by March 18th. Ninth graders are coming to the counseling the week of March 18th during your English classes. So here are the graduation requirements. Just as a reminder, you need four credits of English, English 9, 10, 11, and 12, four credits of math, geometry, algebra 1, and then algebra 2, and then your fourth math credit, which you'll take during your senior year. You need three credits of science, uh, Earth Science one credit, one credit biology, and then one credit of either chemistry, physics, or physical science. You need three credits of social studies, which is one credit of American history, one credit of world history, a half of credit of American government, and a half a credit of econ. Now world languages can be met two different ways. You can get two credits of world language or Spanish that we have here, or you can get one credit of world language or Spanish and two VPA credits. I'll go over that again in a minute. Uh, you need a half a credit of gym and a half a credit of health. And then again, we're at the VPA or the visual in a performing applied arts. This says one credit. So you can have two credits of a world language and one visual performing or applied arts credit or you can flip that and have one credit of world language and two credits of visual performing and applied arts credit. And your counselor will help you keep track of that. That leaves you with 4.5 elective credits with a total of 22 and a half credits needed for graduation. So a sample ninth and 10th grade schedule looks like this. Your ninth grade most likely looked like English nine, geometry, American History, Earth Science, and Spanish One all year, those classes. And then you had one semester of health and one semester of PE. That's a typical ninth grade course. Yours may have varied here and there depending on what you chose. A typical 10th grade schedule and what your schedule most likely will look like next year is English 10, Algebra One, World History, Biology, Spanish 2, 
and then a VPA elective, a visual and performing art elective, one for each semester. And again, that's just a sample. There's going to be many, many variations on this, but I wanted to give you a taste of what was coming up. So just a few important points to remember when scheduling. If you are interested in going to a high-powered university like the University of Michigan or Michigan State University or Ivy League, then you must take at least two years of a foreign language in high school. So that means if you took Spanish 1 in, uh, Spanish one in eighth grade and then Spanish 2 in ninth grade, those schools are going to want to see Spanish 3 in 10th grade. If you're not planning on a high-powered school like the ones I mentioned, then you only need to have the required, you could have one uh, Spanish class in high school. Also, these more powerful universities want four years of science, and that's recommended. Now, on the other end, if you fail the class first semester, you will be scheduled for that class next year. The ninth grade classes are going to be in the elective section of the scheduling screen, and you will see that when we get to that part. Uh, you will choose that class in place of an elective. Again, your counselors will help you with that process. If you did fail a class, I want to strongly urge you to take summer school. Summer school is important uh, if you failed a class the first semester. So plan on taking summer school or taking credit recovery over the summer to make up the required courses. When you make up the course over the summer, your counselor will remove that class and put in one of your alternate elective choices. I want to remind you that you can get a PE waiver if you have two years of JV or varsity of the same sport, two years of WICSPA or marching band. Those things waive the PE requirement. If you haven't taken gym or PE yet and you don't have a PE waiver, don't forget to select those courses in electives. A few more points. I want you to choose your courses carefully. Descriptions of the courses are in the high school course guide under the parents students tab. Uh, it will also be in your class of 2027 Schoology page. I'll put a link in there for you. I want you to remember that you are choosing the class, not the teacher. And once your requests have been finalized, scheduling corrections will only be completed based on the following criteria. One, you need a class to graduate. Two, you do not have a full schedule. And three, you have already taken the class you are scheduled in. There are no scheduling changes once the schedule has been finalized, and we do not grant teacher change requests. Again, we do not grant teacher change requests. Don't forget to enter your alternative choices. If you don't do it, your counselor will, and you will have to take that class your counselor chooses. OK, so now I'm going to show you how to go about scheduling your courses, requesting your classes. First, you're going to go to Warren Consolidated School's website. Um, and you will come to their home page that looks like this, and you will scroll to the parent and students, and you will scroll down to Power School Student Parent Portal. Click on that. Then you want to click on the very top Parent Portal Login page, and then go all the way down to the bottom where it says Student Sign-In, and click on Student Sign-In. You're going to click on um, your district-provided email address, and then put in your password. And go over to the left, and you will see class registration. Click on that, and this screen pops up. It says, welcome to the Cusno High School's class registration system for 2024-2025. So this is how, where you will be going and how you will be choosing your courses. I want to point out a few things. You'll notice each course is listed. So for example, 10th grade English is here. It says to choose a half a credit for first semester and a half a credit for second semester. So you'll be choosing two classes, and you'll see what I mean by that, for each full year course. Then it goes to 10th grade math, 10th grade science, 10th grade social studies, 10th grade electives, and then 10th grade alternates. 
So all of those will be completed. If you notice all the way over to the right, you'll see a pencil and a red exclamation point. The goal of this exercise is to make choices so that that red exclamation point turns into a green check mark, like all the way at the bottom, you see this green check mark. Okay, so that's the game. So first, let's look into English. In your English, if you click on the pencil, you're going to see the choices that you have for English. So for 10th grade, you have two English choices, English 10 and English 10 honors. Most students, most 10th graders will click on English 10 and you must click on both, one for first semester, one for the second semester. Um, and so most students, like I said, will be doing English 10. If you are currently in English 9 honors and you have an A, a B, or a C plus, then you can click on English 10 honors. If you are English 9 honors and you're not doing so well, I would recommend you you go back to English, regular English and take English 10. If you are currently an English 9 student and you're A plus student, no missing assignments, um, very proactive, good writer, then you can choose English 10 honors, but we're going to want to get teacher approval for that. So that's the English. You choose either two English 10 or two English 10 honors, and then you click OK. And then voila, you see we have a green check mark, so we know we're doing good. So now let's click on the 10th grade math. Many more choices on 10th grade math. Most of you, if not all of you, are in geometry right now. Um, so then your next math class is going to be Algebra 1. And so you're going to click both sections for Algebra 1. And then, see, there's a green check right here. We can make sure we did it correctly. Now, these other choices, here's how you will do these. If you are currently in Algebra 1, say you had um, you, you were in Algebra 1 for ninth grade, then you will choose Algebra 2. If you are currently in accelerated geometry, uh, that means that you had Algebra 1 in eighth grade and you went from Algebra 1 in eighth grade and you went into accelerated geometry and you are um, an excellent student and you have an A and B, A or a B in that class, then you will be going to Algebra 2 Trig Accelerated. Okay. If you are currently in Algebra 1 now and you know you're doing maybe C, D work, then you're going to just want to go just straight to Algebra 2. If you are at the MMSTC and you plan on continuing in the MMSTC, then your math choice is the MSTFS trig and you will choose those two. But again, most all 10th graders will be scheduling for Algebra 1. If you're confused and you're not sure, ask your math teacher. They will be able to direct you. So let's hit OK on that and you see we have green checks. We also have our choices right up here in these boxes. So we can see the English 10 and we can see the Algebra 1. So we know we're doing good. Now, we're going to go on to 10th grade science. Most 9th graders take earth science, so their 10th grade class is biology. But we do sometimes have some 9th graders who have biology in the 9th grade. If that is the case, and you are currently in biology in the 9th grade, then you will choose either chemistry or honors chemistry. So you have an A plus in your math class and you have an A in your biology, then and you really want a high powered class, then you choose honors chem. Uh, if you don't want a high powered class and you're currently in biology, then you can choose chemistry one. If you are at the MMSTC, you're going to choose the MST chemistry. Again, those are special circumstances. You can always ask your teacher. You can always ask your counselor. But the majority of all of our 10th graders take biology. So we're going to click OK on that. And that we are done with science. Now, social studies is easy, easy peasy, because you all just have world history. So you're going to click on those. Green check pops up. And we're done with world history and social studies. Now it's going to get a little tricky because we're going to go into the electives. So you see we have four hours scheduled. We're in school for six hours. So you need to choose two more hours for your day. 
and these are electives. And this uh, comes into play. You can choose um, Spanish, Spanish 2, or Spanish 3. Um, and before we get into any specifics, let me show you the layout of this. You have six pages, and these courses are all put in here alphabetically. If you see a course with one name, then that's a semester course. If you see a course with two names right by it, then that's a full year course, and you must choose both. So let's say you want to take Advanced Video and Film Radio 1. Then you would choose, you would click on that, and you would click on the second one. If you change your mind and decide, well, you know what, I think I want to take an art class instead, then you can choose down and choose Art Foundations. Down below this Art Foundations, you can see it says select between two and four courses. So if you choose two courses, that means you're choosing two full year courses. For example, let's say Advanced Radio, uh, Video, Film, and Radio, and let's find some con let's find concert band because a lot of students take band. If you choose concert band, then let's hit OK and just take a look at what we see. So now you can see we have four cores, and then your fifth class is Advanced Video and Film, and your sixth class is concert band. All right, so you've, that's if you have full year courses, you only need to choose two of them. But let's say you want to take some individual courses. So let's take these off, and we'll go that way. Um, so let's say I want to take drama. So I'm going to take drama. I'm going to scroll through here and see what's interesting. I'm going to take drama. That's interesting to me. Oh, foods. I really like cooking. I'm going to take foods one. Um, let's go back through. Uh, the next one, I haven't taken gym yet. And then let's say I'm going to take Art Foundations. So you can see I have a green check. And this is an example of four different classes instead of two full year courses. So we have, again, our four core. And then we have the four elective courses that we want to take. So that's how you will choose those classes. Let me go over a few things just to remind you. Uh, remember, Art Foundations, if you choose, if you want to take art, you must have Art Foundations before you can take 3D design or drawing and painting. So if you haven't had Art Foundations and you want to take drawing and painting, you would have to click on the Art Foundations and then click on Drawing and Painting 1. Okay, so that way we would make sure that you would get the Art Foundations first. Art Foundations is an introduction to the art courses. 3D design is uh, three-dimensional art, so you're going to be doing pottery and clay and mobiles and things like that. Uh, advanced radio, video, film, and radio. Uh, this is a class where we have, you know, we have the radio station here. We actually have a, a live TV studio, and you learn the front end as well as the back end, producing videos, producing films, and learning how to work in the radio station. We're very lucky to have this program. Um, aerobics is a gym class, one of the gym classes you can take. Uh, then you can see American history is in here. So if you failed American history the first semester, you would want to click on American history um, in the electives. AP Stats is not a course that you want to take. Auto Tech is, uh, you know, we have um, a garage out back, and it's a two-hour class. That's why you see here the credits are one in one instead of a half. So Auto Tech is a two-hour block. Um, you would have your four core classes, and then you would click on Auto Tech both semesters, and that would complete your whole schedule because that would fill up the six hours. Uh, choir, we have choir, we have concert band here. Creative writing is writing poetry and short stories. Uh, if you like writing and you like reading, that's a great class. Uh, the cybersecurity class is a full year class, and you will be looking into how to make servers and computers more secure and how to find and research and root out any, um, any bad guys and what do you call that, computer glitches or viruses, computer viruses. 
So that's kind of interesting. If you, like, if you feel like you want to do some investigation, that's a good course for that. Uh, the Drama 1 class is like a theater class. You're going to learn elements of the theater. You're going to do parts of plays. Uh, it's very interesting if you're interested in acting. Again, English 9, in case you failed English 9 first semester, you want to click on that. The family living class is, uh, the family living class, you learn about relationships, the importance of communication. It's the class where you take around the baby and you see what it's like to have to care for a baby. Uh, it, they really look at the dynamics of the relationship and how important they are to the individual as well as society. Then we have our foods class. Foods one is light snacks and nutrition, and foods two is more comprehensive meals and nutrition. You don't have to have one before you take two, but we really suggest you hold off on foods two until you're a little bit older, is maybe 11th to 12th grade. Um, here is the geometry class in case you didn't do so well in geometry first semester. Uh, governing practices is the leadership class. If you're interested in leadership, don't put this in your electives. Put it in your alternates because there's a process for getting into leadership. And then once you are uh, accepted into leadership, then we pull out two of your electives and put it in from your alternates. So governing practices should go in your alternates. Uh, if you haven't taken health yet, it's a good opportunity to take health. Intro to newspaper and yearbook. If you like writing and publishing, and if you're interested in working on the yearbook, you can take intro to newspaper and yearbook. Um, yearbook is really fun. You can end up doing photography, and you write snippets about the activities in school, and it's really a great class. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, definitely think about intro to newspaper and yearbook. Lifetime fitness is a, like a typical gym class, but you're going to do tennis and some individual sports. It does meet the PE requirement. The Mediacom 1 and 2 is the announcement class. You can take one semester or two semesters. The MST IDS course is if you are at the MMSTC, this is one of your electives. Um, now we come to one of my favorite classes, psychology. Psychology is an excellent class. Uh, it, you learn about how we think, how we feel, what we're aware of, what our motivations are, and what are some motivations that we're not aware of. It's really interesting. If you don't take it in 10th grade, plan on taking it in 11th or 12th grade. I think every student should have psychology. The next course is public speaking. Public speaking is every person on the planet's number one fear, pretty much. Um, it's a great class to take in high school because if you go to university, you're probably going to have to take it. If you get a job after high school, you're probably going to have to do some kind of public speaking. And so it's really good to have this under your belt. Now, just be warned, public speaking, you're writing. You're writing out your speeches. So you can't take public speaking if you don't want to write, if you don't want to write your speeches out. So just know that. Involved in public speaking is a fair amount of writing because you have to write out the speech. Makes sense, right? All right, so recreational vehicle repair is a full year class. It's out in the garage, out in the, um, in the auto shop. And it is a class where you learn about small engines like lawn mowers and, say, snowmobiles. And you're going to learn how to manage and take care of those and fix them. Under the recreational vehicle repair, we have all the Spanishes. And then we have team sports, which is like your regular, uh, your regular gym class. And then video and um, audio production and performance is the first class that you would take, if you haven't taken uh, the TV and radio class, video and audio production and performance is the one you would take first. Um, WIXPA level two, if you were in level one, you want to click WIXPA level two. And that will, again, if you notice over here under credits, each one of those is one credit. So that's a two hour block and that would round out your whole schedule with your four cores. And then we have our web design classes. 
there's web design beginner and web design advanced. So if you're interested in computers and you're, and you're creative and you want to do something fun and exciting, then you can learn how to design websites. You can even make money doing that down the line. You would want to start out with a web design beginner, take that, um, and then advance is in your 11th grade year to web design advanced. If you're in beginner now, then of course you would choose the advanced. Uh, yearbook one is in here if you've had intro to newspaper in yearbook, but also there's a bit of a caveat. If you are an outstanding English student and you really want to take yearbook and you have A's and high B's in English, then the yearbook is available to you. We would have to verify your grades and talk to your English teacher, but Ms. Blades wants you to know that that is a possibility. So that takes you through all your choices for your uh, electives. So let's go through, let's choose Web Design Beginner. I'm going to choose that for my electives. And then I want to go back to, I think I'm going to take Drama. And then, you know, I haven't had art yet. I'm really looking for the art foundations. So if I click on that, I've chosen my four electives. Web Design Beginner is a full year, and then I have two semester courses. Now, finally, the last part that we have to do is choose alternates. And I'm choosing alternates to my electives. So in case I can't get in Web Design um, Beginner, I am going to choose the Mediacom class, because that sounds good. So I'm going to take Mediacom. Um, I'm going to take Intro to Newspaper and Yearbook. Oh, definitely psychology. Yes, that class is awesome. So we're going to take psychology. And then um, I think I want to put down uh, aerobics because it's always good to have some exercise in there. So these are the courses that if I can't get into my electives, my counselor then will go into my alternates and choose one of these instead of the electives that I chose. Now, this is critical. If you do not choose any alternates, or if your alternates look exactly like your electives, guess who gets to choose the course if we have to make a change? Yes, you're right, your counselor. And guess who has to take the class? Yes, you're right, you do. So this is really important. You must have this done before you come to counseling. You must have it complete. Notice everything is checked off green, looking good. Next thing I need to do is hit the submit button. So once you hit the submit button, you're set to go, and then you will come to counseling uh, with your English class, and we'll sit down, we'll go over your choices, make sure that they fit for what you need. Um, we can talk briefly about any changes you may want to make at that time. And if you have any questions in the whole part of this process, please write down those questions and bring those questions to the Counseling Center so you remember them and then we can help you with them. So basically, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that's how you do it, everyone. And just a reminder, this video will be on your class of 2027 Schoology page, so you can review it and watch it again if needed. You can put it on your phone and you can use it as a guide while you're choosing your classes. Now I want to congratulate you on finishing your ninth grade year and encourage you to finish up strong. Remember, zero missing assignments, be present in class every day, and practice, practice, practice. Learning takes hard work and commitment.